Hi, Gary here. You know, the last post we had last week, we talked about a three-part uh, series on aging gracefully. And this part, we want to talk about staying at home. You know, there was a 2010 AARP study that for 45-plus uh, age, uh, two-thirds of us said that staying put at home was the most important issue for us. Now, uh, what we find is people's hopes and dreams were built in their home, and it's kind of where their treasures are. So it's very important for us to stay where we are. So why? Well, first thing, it's less expensive. Staying at home versus going to another uh, uh, place, wherever that happens to be, a retirement community or other nursing home or whatever, it's just more expensive. But it does create more stress for the family um, you know, as it was raging and, and things deteriorate and you need more help uh, as we go down the road. Now there was a 2007 Aging in Place in America study and it said the greatest fear for those who are aging is loss of independence. 26% said this. 13% said going to a nursing home, believe it or not, which came in dead last was fear of death, only 3%. So we know that we really do want to stay where we are if all possible. So there needs to be kind of a family strategy. Who's gonna check in periodically to make sure that everything's going okay? Uh, the, the, the other part of that whole thing is, is loneliness. Another study showed that over age 60, that 43% of people were at home were suffering from loneliness. And it really resulted in their death and disability at a much faster rate. So we need to stay apace. We need to stay connected connected to the community, connected to family, connected to others. So that's very important for staying at home to make sure that that connection continues to take place. Uh, we got to watch for diminished capacity, especially in the financial arena, you know, paying bills, uh, making financial decisions. And there's some elder abuse here where people get baited on the phone to give out f very important personal uh, information like their social security number and their date of birth and other things to those who are trying to take advantage of them. Um, so they got, we got to watch for those kinds of things to make sure uh, that those seniors who are at home can continue to do what they're doing uh, but don't have a diminished financial capacity. And finally there needs to be many times a home medical plan uh, because uh, seniors may be taking uh, different kinds of uh, prescription drugs at different times during the day. And so that's got to be very clearly stated in places throughout the house, medical emergency numbers, contacts, and so forth if they fall down, uh, single floors, bedrooms on the first floor, lots of different things to help our seniors stay put, which is what they want to do, for as long as possible in the home. And this is just a really important issue that has to be handled uh, really well to help the seniors age gracefully. Now we have an event coming up uh, in May. Information is here and you go to our website at Coil Financial uh, where we're going to cover both these issues. The non-financial issue part of it and of course the financial side of it to really help the baby boomers and their parents or aunts and uncles handle these very important issues with staying at home. And next post will be about going to looking at the variety of retirement communities out there. So until next time, enjoy.